everybody. Well, I'm in here with the kiddies in the nursery. So I just thought I'd go show you just quickly. Not the glare, I don't want the shadow. The Discover Dolls magazine. Oh, I don't know how I can get to it really without having a shadow. That's funny, maybe. Need the hats. Discover Dolls magazine. This is issue number one, June 2019, and the price is $7.95. And I got mine at the doll show on Sunday. It is a really thick, really good quality print. So here we go. This is a front cover. And McPherson's crafts here. They are in Canada, for those of you who aren't sure. There were 900 different doll kits from. So this is a bit of a welcome. This is Kath from Kathy. Editor-in-Chief, Discover Dolls magazine. Kathy is the lady that runs the Discover Dolls show. It says, I'm only going to read this page and uh, so you, and then you can see what the rest is about. Welcome to Discover Dolls magazine issue one. We are so excited to relaunch this much-loved magazine. We are convinced that this debut, debut issue will not disappoint. We have made sure to include information and articles from a wide range of topics and through this have had the opportunity to get to know some amazing artists, collectors and enthusiasts. We have visited shows in the UK and overseas where we have seen artwork of an exceptional level whilst enjoying the company of like-minded people. Attending the shows is a great way to meet up with friends made on social media often for the first time. In this magazine you will find profiles on a range of artists as well as news, reviews, projects and much more. Going forward we would like to add a letters to the editor page so if you've had anything you would like to share with us please drop us a line by email or even by post. The giveaways in this issue of Discover Dolls magazine are spectacular. You could be in a chance to win one of two Reborns by Shirley Jones or even take home one of our two crocheted bunnies, expertly made by Kelly from Nitty Delights. Winners will be drawn live at the Peterborough Doll Show in October. On that note, I would like to thank you for taking the time to read this and I hope that you will get great enjoyment from issue one of Discover Dolls magazine. I can assure you that we are already working hard on issue two. Okay, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do it without getting the glare of the light in. Here we go. There we go. Advertising to advertise. So you can contact them on their website, discoverdolls.co.uk or email kathy at discoverdolls.co.uk. Here is the address of the Discover Dolls magazine as well. And you can buy this. I think I said in my previous video... Um, you can buy it from McPherson's. I said Bonnie's Babies, but it's not Bonnie's Babies. I think maybe Bountiful Baby. But you can also get it on eBay or direct from Kathy. So here's um, the contents page. And I and Annie are in Collector's Corner, page 68. So I'm just going to flick through. lots of advertising this is Ellie Mack she was at the show with her silicone dolls she's a lady on the front cover and she made silicones she makes silicones I don't think I got them in my shop 
of my video, unfortunately. It's a nice big write-up. Um, this is praise. This is a painting um, painting demonstration that you can go to. They teach you how to reborn. I have actually been on this course, so it is somewhere in one of my playlists. I'm not sure where. This issues Ramsey and Ethan Brace coming soon in silicone. Doll and teddy bears. 30 years of dolls and bears. This is where I go to at the National Motorcycle Museum, um, which is in Birmingham in England. Really, really love going there because they have all antique um, stuff as well. And this is the one I was, think I was talking about in my recent Coffee and a Chat. The thing next thing, um, the thing I'll be going to in August with Timothy and Annie in the 1993 Walkie Rider. This is where I'm going. It's in the south of England showground, Arlington, Sussex. It's called the Prams, Dolls and Bears. And it is... It's on the Saturday the 10th of August. There is um, a thing in the day and a thing in the night. And if you want to look up informa oh, sorry, information about this, here's the website. PD... N B E P D N B event dot co dot uk. There's a telephone number there as well. I've booked tickets here and I'm also camping in the camper. Um this was I don't know if you remember this is what I had in my Discover Dolls VIP bag. It was um information about the Grace Kelly Childhood Cancer Trust. And this is what um, the magazine is uh, raising money to support this this year. Discover Dolls magazine has pledged to raise has pledged to raise two hundred fifty pounds for the trust. We will fundraise via the Doll Show, and there will be opportunities online for customers to help meet and exceed our target. For details of how much we raise will be published in the June 2020 edition. Honeybug dummies. This is what I had. I had one of these in the goodie bag. These are where the magnets are actually inside the dummy there, not on the outside of the dummy. And you could turn it around. Um, I have a video of this one in my book and a photo, I believe. Baylor is one of the newest released kits from Dawn Murray McLeod. Baylor is 19 inch kit with front loading limbs comes complete with a body. This gorgeous, gorgeous prototype was reborn by Josie Lombardo. Discover Dolls online. Here we go. Discover Dolls dot online. Make sure you visit our interactive website between issues where we will be sharing magazine previews, hosting interim competitions, running reviews and keeping up to date with all the current news and events as they will, as they happen. Uh, Linda Murray is um, releasing a brand new cradle kit. Oh, Sorry, it is great excitement that Linda Murray announces a brand new exclusive cradle kit dealer in the UK. Sorry. Um, and then Ruth Annette. Um, Reggie is the newest release kit from Ruth Annette, following on from the highly acclaimed Sweet Dreams kit last year. The stunning prototype was recorded by... Abby Annette from Precious Dream Studios, I think means reborn. Here we go. Send in the clowns. If you're looking for a baby with a difference, look no further than Jodie Lombardo, a fantasy artist. Look at that stunning baby. Oh my word, look at these. The quality of the pictures are superb. Superb. Teddy bear making courses. So, if you want to go on a teddy bear making course, here you go. 
July the 27th, you can bear making and designing. August the 24th, a unicorn or a bear. September the 21st, a double neck jointed grizzly bear. October the 12th, a rat or a bear. November the 11th, Highland cow or bear. I love Highland cows. And December the 7th, Christmas vintage bear. They're held in Telford. If you want some more information, here we go. And it is there, teddybearmakingcourses.co.uk. My beautiful Reborn Nursery. Reborn artist Emma Smith has been creating Reborn Babies in vinyl, more recently silicone, for about two years. Jayla and Magalu. Sculpts by Ruth Annette. Reborn by Shirley Jones from Sugar Plum Nursery. Look at their artistry. Amazing. Ten Tiny Toes Silicones, Doll Kits by Cassie Brace, Lisa Ford Art Dolls, I think I got Lisa's um, table in my um, doll show video. The Doll Show Roundup. The Doll Show has been all over the country in the first part of 2019 with our first show of the year in Basildon, then on to Newcastle, then Nottingham, most recently our Southampton venue for the third time. All shows are exceptionally well attended, with amazing lineups and a well worth a visit. That's absolutely correct. They are well worth a visit. It's my favourite show is at Peterborough. So here's the individual shows. A little bit of a write-up about them. The Doll Show, Basildon. The Doll Show, Newcastle. The Doll Show, Nottingham. The Doll Show, Southampton. And Doll Connections. Doll art, like most artist crafts, can be very solitary occupations. Most doll artists spend a lot of their time working alone, usually in their homes, unless they are lucky enough to have a dedicated space in which to work. Solitary pastimes and jobs can lead to people being quite isolated and feeling lonely, which in the extreme can lead to mental health issues. Research from 2010 showed that 64% of lone workers suffered from some level of psychological distress, which is significantly higher than those worked with colleagues in a secure environment. Distress has a knock-on effect to both physical and mental health. So this is all about um, friendships and uh, being with people who... Um, are like-minded and I mean this just doesn't just apply to artists it applies to people who collect collect the dolls people who collect the prams you know it kind of relates to us all we've all suffered at some point from someone's um you do what you collect dolls you push them around in prams you know I kind of think we've all been there and it's nice to be able to have to share our experience with somebody. So this is what this page is about. Never just a bear. Sue Pendleton is a teddy bear artist who creates one of a kind collectible bears, also known as oak bear oak bears. Every bear she creates is completely handmade and unique. Her bears are really aimed at the adult collector market. They are amazing. Amazing bears. Just look at the detail on this little guy here. She has her work here. Neverjustabear.com Some more advertising. Why well, collect prams and not collect postage stamps? The baby carriage. An important part of our social history. Um, let's see. Like many vintage pram collectors, my love of the proper pram developed from a very early age. 
ever since joyfully receiving my very first doll pram, a small dark blue tin pram with tin metal handles and a dark blue lion-eyed hood and apron one Christmas in the very early of the 1950s when I was about two year old. My interest and passion for the baby carriage has deepened. I remember my doll's pram so vividly. My next doll's pram, as in the first picture, was a traditional metal bodied grey leeway. My last childhood doll's pram was a lovely bright red vinyl soft body pram with white metal folding sash and sashy. I think it was made by pedigree. Mum always said that I liked nothing more than to play all day with my dollies and my pram in the garden. I was at my happiest dressing my dollies and washing my pram till it sparkled. And that is Beth Hook, all by Beth Hookstep. So if you want to email, it's bethy underscore huckstep at hotmail.com. If you want to have a chat with her, she um, does a magazine. Um, uh, let me tell you, arranged pram walks. She's arranged pram walks, but I'm sure somewhere she does a pram magazine. Maybe, ah, here we go. Since 2008, I've edited and published a small full-colour magazine, The Pramulator Times, for pram lovers all over the world, including Australia, America, Canada, France, Sweden, the Netherlands, Germany, Holland, Ireland, Malta, New Zealand, and, of course, the UK. I think they're so popular because there's nothing nicer than a pleasant something dropping on your doormat the old-fashioned way. If anyone would like more details for subscription to the Prammy Mag or have a pram or a vintage nursery item they think may be of interest, no matter the conditional size, I would absolutely love to hear for them, from them. That's Beth. It's one of the events that she organised. Had a huge, huge um, pram walk meet up. And this is the next one. It's the one I love. Dolly Street Darlings by Johnny Joni Lee Timberlin. I hope I'm not butchering your name too badly. Born with a passion for art and a desire to create, Joni Lee Timberlin's adorable oak babies bring delight the world over. From the sweet ser serene to the solemn pouters, Joni's babies use personality, charm and character. Mm. Oh my gosh, they're so cute, aren't they? Look at them. I would absolutely love, love, love to own one. I just think they're just so adorable. <laughs> Look how cute they are. Oh, I love them. <laughs> and then we've got some more advertising. If you want to advertise in the magazine, email kathy at discoverdolls.co.uk. There's a Doncaster Doll Show, February, April, September and December. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. So look for the Discover the Doncaster Doll Show. That is a completely different uh, doll show, but it's just full of reborn artists. It's kind of the same thing, but it's held in Doncaster in the same place four times a year. New kits coming soon. Leo, Leone Louise by Jamie Lynn Art Dolls. I can't pronounce that very well. Little Miss Charlotte by Laura Lee Eagles. Evie by Laura Lee Eagles. Dallas by Dawn Murray McLeod. Demi by Phil Donnelly. Lulu by Joanna Kazmerzak. And Ruby by Cassie Brace. And these were at the at the doll show. Um, I did get a good video of them. 
Um, and you refer to these as Einstein. <laughs> they look like little Albert Einsteins. Nana Barb's nursery. Oh, yes, yes, yes. There's um, a write-up of the Expo Doll Show in Valencia. Um, 2019 was the second Expo Doll Show in Valencia. Um, there we go. This is a little write-up by Kathy about what she went to Valen she went to the Valencia Doll Show. This is a little bit of write a write-up of um of the show. Might be one that might be good to try. Look at that Harry Potter one. Might be a different one to go and uh, somewhere different to try. So if you want more information about uh, the Valencia Doll Show, it is Expo Doll Show Valencia dot com. Some more advertising. And uh, this is really neat. This is uh, bunny pants. This is a crochet pattern. <laughs> This is, we've, they've been allowed to reproduce it by Little Bear Crochets, so please don't um, copy it here. And Collector's Corner. So here is Patricia Roadhouse. This is her, Collector's Corner. The market for reborn, reborn baby dolls is growing exponentially potentially and the number of people who own and collect these dolls is ever increasing many doll enthusiasts don't simply keep their collection hidden at home they take them out and about with them we asked a few people about taking their babies out in public and it seems like the responses of the general public are on the whole very positive here is susan haig and her daughter robin here is me and Annie, Caroline Knight and Annabelle. Here is Vicky and daughter Grace. Here is Evelyn Rump. Right up. Here is Trisha Snell and her husband's right up. Here is Sarah Merriman's right up. And here is Hilary Hampton's right up. So that's two really neat pages of write-ups in Collector's Corner. I just can't get over it. It's such good quality, this magazine. Okay, so Star Kissed Babies. Reborn artist Stephanie Harper at Star Kissed Babies has been making reborn baby dolls since August 2014. So this is just, they're just like interviews, you know. They're just amazing. Look at that. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. And in fantasy, over the last few years, we've seen an increasing number of alternative or fantasy babies being made, with artists taking elfin looking and dainty sculpts and using their imaginations to add wings, intricate clothing, face paints, and even adding tiny pointed tops to the ears. Look at this one. I think I showed you this one at the show. It was going moving around and around on uh, Rufanet's table. Here we go. This is a write up from Ruth. Ruth told us that making the fairy babies was about more than painting the kits, it was about stretching her artistry, applying alternative techniques, and enjoying the evolution of a whole concept. I mean, the paintwork was absolutely stunning, it really, really was. So, show dates. Here we go. If you want to see um, the show dates, I'll scroll down for you. Ah, here we go. Here's a list of distributors. Germany. Australia, Canada, United States, oh, it's Irresistibles, South Africa, 
And if you're interested in becoming a distributor, please email kathy at discoverdolls.co.uk. The next issue will be available in October. I think this is who's selling them on eBay, Coach Built Pram Spares. And uh, this is a photo that I also um, videoed of all those honeybug dummies in these clips. I've got this in my video. And there we go, Reborn Supplies. And uh, Simply Reborn, the original Reborn classes. And this is by Precious Dreams, Ruth Annette. So if you want to go on one of these courses, they're designed for the complete beginner, even to accomplished artists. You'll be provided with everything you need to complete, carry away a bold, finished baby. They're held in Marchtown, Cambridgeshire every June, October, prior to the doll show, which is held 30 minutes away in Peterborough. And this is by Precious Dreams on rebornshop.co.uk. Brilliant, 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 absolutely stunning magazine. Um, what have we got here? 70, 78, 79. 80 pages worth of magazine so what I'll do now then is I'll read mine and Annie's little write up and that's on 68 isn't it there we go I don't know if you can remember this is one I went with oh, I just don't want to get the camera in it Try and hold it up right like that. Maybe that's better. Caroline Knight has sent some lovely images of herself and her baby Annie taken by her at Montacute House, Montacute, Somerset. Annie is a therapy doll. I suffer with complex PTSD, which worsened, worsened dramatically six years ago. And I had to give up my job as a lecturer. I became very depressed, suffered with heightened anxiety and panic attacks, scared to go out alone. My counsellor suggested reborn dolls at that time to help with the CPTSD, the symptoms basically. I started to take Annie with me and I found that because she was a distraction, a focus, I didn't get so anxious and I could enjoy the surroundings more and more. I now take my reborns all over the place and on holidays because they bring me comfort and a distraction even more than the fun aspect of collecting. I don't consider my reborns an actual collection. I collect many other things, but I don't need those collections in the same way I need my reborns with me. My reborns are more of a therapy tool for me. I don't take them out all the time, every day, but one usually accompanies me and waits in the camper. The majority of reactions we get are positive and inquisitive, Saying that, there certainly have been some sideways glances and giggles from the general public, and I find these both sad and infuriating. So there you go. That's mine and Annie's right up in the Discover Dolls magazine. Discover Dolls magazine. Episode, uh, issue one, episode one. <laughs> issue one don't forget so here are the distributors again united kingdom germany australia canada united states south america south africa and if you're interested in becoming a distributor just email kathy for some more help and there are the there are the doll show dates and there is Annie just chilled with Timothy, Frankie, just having some fun. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed that and I hope it was okay. Um, and if you can get your hands on one, get your hands on one. There are 7 95 English pounds and uh, I know that you can get them off of eBay as well. Thanks a lot. Bye.